Hey YouTube, Vinny M here and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we are doing an informational video about a pressure dressing. There are a total of four videos in this series, one for each of the four dressings in front of you. The North American Rescue ETD, the h, &H Medical H Bandage, the Tech Med Solutions Olias Bandage, and the Percy's Medical Israeli. Be sure to check out each individual video for each of the four products to find out information specific to that pressure dressing and what its pros and cons are. But today, we're going to be doing an informational video on the H&H H bandage. The H&H Medical H bandage is one of the newer pressure dressings we're looking at in this four part series. I know for a fact it's newer than the Israeli bandage and the North American Rescue ETD. I don't know if it's newer or older than the Olias. Regardless, it's one of the newer of the four. It doesn't get the name H bandage just from the fact that it's made by H&H &H Medical Corp, but also from the fact that its pressure application bar is in the shape of a letter H. This is a A-style elastic wrap with a huge blood absorbing pad on it with an H shaped pressure application bar. You can see the pad is eight by 10 on the standard size. It comes in two sizes. It comes in the standard, which is a four inch wrap with an eight by 10 pad. And it comes in what they call the thin. The thin is a four inch bandage with a four inch pad. The major difference being how much surface area it can cover this one being more and the thin being less and the size of the package. The thin package is only about that big versus the regular one being this big. They both come in flat or rolled packaging depending on where you want to put it in your kit. For the sake of consistency, we're getting our prices from rescueessentials.com as we have with all of them. Here's the standard size. It's $8. And again, it comes in rolled or flat. The price is the same regardless of which one you choose. We'll look at the thin one real quick. The thin is the same way. It's a little bit cheaper, $7.75, so you're saving $0.25. Cents. Also comes in rolled or flat configuration for the same price. It has a 4 by 7.5 inch absorbent ABD pad. We're going to talk more about this as I show how to use it, but this one doesn't impress me. It's very difficult to put on. If you look at the packaging, it's typical of what we've seen from all of them. It has the manufacturing information on one side, a lot of tear points around it and instructions on the back, but I want you to take note of how in-depth these instructions are. If someone's in front of you bleeding everywhere, you're in a stressful situation and you've never used one of these before, you're probably going to have to read this several times to comprehend it because you're stressed out and you're not comprehending information well. This is a lot of stuff for someone that is in a bad situation that probably doesn't know what they're doing because these are put in public access hemorrhage control points a lot. H&H &H Medical has a contract for those kits. So this is very apt to be being used by a member of the general public with no medical training. And I just don't see someone that's not used to being in stressful situations like that that's freaking out with someone in front of them bleeding being able to pull this shit off. By comparison, if you look at the North American Rescue ETD, it doesn't even have any writing. It's just pictures. And most of them are like this or very similar. Like here's one of the knockoff Israelis. It has pictures, but it also has a few words, but they're very simple. Place on wound, invert, bandage across V, tighten bandage over notch. This is literally a book. But that's kind of enough about that. You're going to see more and more here in a minute why I don't like this thing. But let's go ahead and get into how to use it. So 
So I kind of rolled this one my own way in order to make it easier for the video. But on your short side, you have about two inches of a style wrap with a one inch piece of Velcro. Then you have your H pressure application bar right over the pad and the pad is actually folded so you have to unfold it. And they will come in their original package folded just like I had this one. You'll notice what I was talking about earlier where you have two inches of pad hanging over on both sides that this doesn't cover. So when you wrap you have to be cognizant of that and I'll show you that. Then you have your trailing end which is several feet of A-style wrap with a closure bar at the end. Now let's pretend my injury is right here. I'll go ahead and tell you this works great on thigh injuries and abdominal injuries. It doesn't work worth a damn on your lower legs or any part of your arm. It doesn't work well on the head. Uh, unlike the others that are kind of meant to go anywhere on the body and function, this one's very site specific. So you need to know that. Because my lower arm is the only thing I can get in the video, that's what I'm going to put it on. And it also gives you a good opportunity to see why I'm saying it doesn't work well on your arms or your lower legs, on the thinner extremities of your body. So this is to help you get it started. So we're going to put it over where I said I was injured at. To get it started, you kind of have to work that around like that. Get that piece of Velcro there. It wants to slide around a lot at first until you get it tight. You're going to come around and you're going to go through one side of that H, just like that. Then you're going to go under the other side. So you're making a U around one side of that letter H. Hopefully now you're seeing why I said that in a public access hemorrhage control point, somebody of the lay public that has no medical training is not going to pull this off. But sadly, these are in a lot of those kits. Oh, how lovely. See how hard it is to put this thing on yourself? If I was putting this on somebody else where I had use of both of my hands, it wouldn't be quite as bad, but it's difficult to work this thing on yourself. Almost impossible. I just have a lot of experience doing it from teaching classes about these things. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side if you didn't see that. You come up, you hook one side of that H, you go across the middle and you hook the other side, just like that. Now I can pull some tension, but it wants to slide. The tighter you pull, the more pressure it's going to apply. Once you've applied all the pressure that you want to apply, you start wrapping. Now because this pad is so damn big, I've got to kind of wrap high and low back and forth to get it to cover the whole thing. However, they don't give you enough wrap to cover the whole thing. I'm already out. And I haven't completely covered the top or the bottom. So while it is an 8 inch pad, you're not going to get 8 inches of coverage out of it. You might get 6 if you wrap it really well. You get this uh, 2 inch by 4 inch piece of Velcro to kind of end it, but the way I had it folded it was kind of backwards so I'll just twist it. And then you have your pressure, uh, or your closure bar, I'm sorry, here at the end. You just kind of hook that in somewhere, somewhere somewhere, anywhere. All right. So that's what your end result is. It does apply a lot of pressure. It only applies it where the H is. So although I have this huge pad, it's not applying pressure everywhere on that pad. It's only applying it dead in the center, probably about a two inch square space right there under that H. So, you know, a lot of pad, not a lot of pressure anywhere except for right here. It is cutting my circulation off. You can see my veins popping out. So you can really winch this thing down and apply a lot of pressure. But something I want you to take note of is I'm wrapping this around the smallest part of my body, my lower arm. Both of my lower legs, both of my thighs, both of my upper arms, uh, and my torso are all much larger than this lower arm. But I ran out of wrap before I could even cover this pad. So what if I was putting this on my torso? If I was putting this on an abdominal injury, which is really what this one is most prominently used for in the field, I only have enough of this stuff to get around a normal size person one time, maybe one and a half times. 
I mean, there's not a lot here. I have about two, four, five. I have about six feet of this, and that's it. You figure most American males are going to be somewhere around 50 inches around their torso when you're applying something like this. I can't even get this thing around more than, you know, one and a half, two times. There's just not enough wrap here for the size pad they put on this thing. So, while it works well on a thigh, because you do have enough wrap for that on most people, it's really meant for abdominal injuries. It's really designed around large abdominal injuries. And it's not long enough to really do that effectively. It doesn't work well on your smaller parts of your body because it's too big for that. So it's not well designed. It's too big for little injuries. It's too little for big injuries. It's, it's not well designed. My biggest beef with it is that this thing has made its way into a lot of public access hemorrhage control kits. Schools, libraries, places like that where it's expected to be there in case a lay member of the general public needs it during an active violence incident. I cannot see some teacher at a school during an active shooter getting this to put on an injured student, God forbid, and being able to use it. I have handled these things multiple times in multiple classes. This one right here has probably been wrapped up in and refolded and used, you know, uh, over a hundred times. I've got experience using this thing, and it's still difficult for me to use it on myself one-handed. I certainly can't see someone that's never touched one of these before being able to pull that off. And I don't think someone that's never touched one of these before could pull it off to even put it on somebody else. They're just very complicated. If you were a member of the general public and you'd never seen this thing before and you pulled this thing out of the package and you were like, how does this thing work? And more than likely what you're going to do is you're going to put it on like this and you're just going to wrap around. You know, that's probably what you're going to do. You're probably not going to use that H at all because you're not going to know what to do with it. You're not going to know that you have to go around it one way and then go the other way and then go around it that way and then go back the other way. It's just too fucking complicated if you've never used it before. And it's pretty damn complicated if you have. Of the four of these, it's my absolute least favorite, in case you haven't caught on to that yet. I just don't like it. I don't think that it's better than the others. It only does two parts of the body well. That's the abdomen and the uh, thigh of your leg. On the abdomen, if you get a very big person, it's not going to be effective there either. The other ones we've looked at, the Elias, the Israeli, the ETD, they work almost anywhere on the body, and they work almost anywhere on the body well. Hell, the Elias can even go over your eye. This one is not the cheapest by any means. It's actually the most expensive of all of them for a base price. I think the Israeli was a little bit more, but if you got it in its white civilian package, it was cheaper. So it's pretty much the most expensive one with the least capability and the hardest to apply and takes the most training. That's a lot of negatives for me to be able to recommend it and that's why I just can't. That's all I have for you guys. Instagram links in the description. As always, like and subscribe and have a nice day.